Hello, welcome back for part two of the Halloween special, where we are trying to take advantage of Galthran and his extremely powerful skeletons. It's going pretty well so far, definitely, no doubt about that, but uh, we haven't seen exactly what we're up against next. The main risk to be worried about here is that someone might just appear out of the blue, take our main town, and uh, if they all suddenly show up at the same time, that's probably the biggest threat, but not gonna lie, it's, it's looking pretty positive. Already up to 200 and what, like 230 skeletons? And uh, we're only getting stronger, although we have kind of run out of easy prey. Uh, we've got some zombies just here to attack, some battle dwarves, and then we're gonna have to double back a bit. Uh, and most likely what I'm gonna be doing is going to the south of the map uh, and coming up through the Horde of Troglodytes, which is gonna be even more skeletons, and then taking on the harpies, getting the sulfur dune, which will enable us to buy liches, once we buy the, what's it called, the mausoleum. We need 10 sulfur for that. Uh, and then we're going to be either hitting the orcs here and exploring up north, or we could follow the path along and see if it leads to a town, which it probably does. And this also, this teleporter here, monolith, also probably leads to a town. But we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, we are just bringing... Didn't mean to buy all of them. Whoops, that's a big waste of money. That's the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> great. Off to a great start. Uh, we're going to be sending Aislinn over to talk to Kendrick the Seer, who seeks the Pendant of Free Will, which we have. And hopefully he'll give us a nice reward for that. I'm also pretty tempted to build a Mage Guild level 2 in one of my towns. And one thing I did realise is that castle towns we're up against seven of them, and well, I've, yeah, we're up against seven of them, and they can only go up to level four, whereas the Necropolis Mage Guild can go up to level five. So definitely want to be building any Mage Guild improvements in this town specifically, and then hopefully bring Galthran back at some point. Potentially could upgrade his skeletons too, but uh, we'll take it one step at a time. I think for now we'll play it safe. Hmm. We are a little bit short on wood, actually. But yeah, I think we'll play it safe. We'll just get the Tomb of Souls. We'll get the wood back soon enough. It's not going to be a problem. And uh, we can use our extra funding. Could have got Royal Griffins, but it's too late for that now. I think we've done probably enough for this turn. I'm not sure when the others are going to show up. We'll see how it goes. So if all goes to plan, this part should go up on Halloween. If it doesn't, then pretend I didn't say anything. Right, he's looking for the Pendant of Death. So everyone's looking for Pendants. I'm not sure what this guy's name is. What's his name? K the Seer. Right, let's take on the zombies. This should be pretty doable. They want to run away. See if we can take them with fewer losses than that. I think that should be possible. Worth using this guy's bait. I think it probably is. Let's have a go. Yeah, they're going the wrong way, so that's perfect. Is it worth using spell points here? I'm leaning towards probably not. Probably not going to get much closer this turn, so I think we're good just to attack. Just defend with these guys. Guys can wait. I'm gonna walk there. Waste as many turns as possible. Defend with you guys. You guys shoot. Nice full powered shot there. Likewise. Now we wait again. No need to take any losses here. Perfect. Right, 13 skeletons for free, that is very nice. Let's take out the Battle Dwarves. I'm not going to pick up the resources with Galthran because I think we need to be a little bit precious about his movement points. He's got a lot to do. They're also trying to run away. Uh, it's too late for me to split my units anymore, but that's fine. I think we should be able to take them on just as easily. Three skeletons lost. I think we can probably just lose the one. Let's see how far can these guys get. I don't want them getting morale, that's the main concern. But if it happens, it happens. Hmm. 
Which of these two stacks does the most damage? Not really sure. I think it's mainly the Zealots. Let's try and save their shot, finish them off with these. It's a wasted turn for the Battle Dwarves, that's perfect. Let's warp them further away. No need to do even that much, perfect. Another nine skeletons. And that's all the easy prey for here. We could go north and uh, take on the Infernal Trogs and the Normal Trogs. That's going to be a few more skeletons potentially, we're, along with a bit of extra crystal. Which we do need to get Vampire Lords. But I think probably better to focus on the Crusaders here. Get that spell scroll just in case it's something good. Uh, and we can also drop by the War Machine Factory. Get ourselves a Ballista, an Ammo Cart and a uh, First Aid Tent. I think that's the best choice. I'm going to do something I should have done much earlier. Instead of building the castle at Necropolis, I'm going to build the city hall so we get a bit more income. Let's check this situation too. So we got Morandor, the Lich Specialist. That's a, a pretty decent choice for a, a secondary hero. But I'm fairly happy with Aislin too. Potentially Saura could work just as a, a pure castle faction secondary hero. That's pretty tempting too. But as Necropolis, it's, it's very tempting just to focus purely on necromancy specialists who can pretty much just sweep up the map without taking losses once you reach a certain point with them. Which we're potentially already at with Galthran. Now let's see what we get. 60 pikemen. Okay, that's interesting. I think I do want to turn them into skeletons. Even though pikemen are better than skeletons and we're going to get lots of pikemen, uh, I feel like... Necromancy is overkill, and we might as well take full advantage of that. Shakti's going to pick up the stuff from the water wheel, and we'll start bringing him back too. For even more skeletons. I'm kind of torn on whether to give them back to Galtharan, because he doesn't really need them at this point. He's not really got too much to fight against. It's going to be too tough. I do want to take on the Evil Eyes. Even though I hate taking on fights like that, I think it's it's got to be done just for the prison. If it's a guarded prison, that suggests that there's actually going to be a pretty decent hero hidden in there. So, we'll check that out. Uh, 1,000 left in the bank. Is it worth getting the unearthed graves? I don't think we need to do it this turn, so we'll wait. Saurag. Saurag's a good choice just to go and pick up the resources that the other hero didn't. Let's go and do that. And that should be fine for the turn. Still no sign of anyone else just yet. That is perfect. Take full advantage of that. Right, Sarug, so let's go get some experience. If we can get estates or something, that'd be awesome, but advanced wisdom will do. Gather up the resources. Galtharan. Hmm. He does have haste, and that's going to be pretty useful. Depends if these guys are going to start off as uh, one big stack, or split into lots of smaller stacks. I'm kind of hoping that they'll just run away. They might not. But I think there's a reasonable chance they will. Given some of the other things that have run away from us. Let's get the first A10, the ammo cart, and uh, this is really expensive. Ballista. I'm not sure it's going to be worth it, but... I think it's okay. If we were playing as the dungeon town, or the, uh, what's the other one, the fortress town, any town that can turn things to stone, I'd be more hesitant. Also, if we had the blind spell and we were using it a lot, I'd be hesitant too. Why are we not wearing this? Oh, it's not a... That's a confusing one. It looks like a necklace, but it's just a normal one. But that is pretty useful. Three extra spell points per day. Okay, let's see. Are we going to have to fight this or not? Ah, oh, perfect. Alright, it's so a nice free hero there. Got Alagar, level 5 druid, starts off with logistics, sorcery, archery. Pretty good actually. Another potential option for a backup hero. Not the most amazing stats, but not bad for a level 5 I guess. Uh, what should we do with him? I think we want to drop off the dwarves because they're slowing us down. Let's get rid of those. I think potentially he could take on the Trogs, but we won't do that just yet. Uh, 
Aislinn. We will send her back to Clavius. Drop off these. Then Clavius should be able to convert all of these into lots of skeletons. And that's a reasonably usable army in itself. Certainly could take on the Harpies. I do want to explore to the north though because this is our starting area. I think that's a crypt there. That's a decent option. Shrine of Magic Thought. Also potentially decent. We'll come back to that one. Uh, Shakti. Yeah, I think we should wait for Shakti to get back first and then we can potentially take on most likely the Harpies. Uh, Alagar. What are we going to do with Alagar? Already visited the magical garden, mystical garden, whatever it's called. Could pick up some stats. Maya to tower there. Learning stone and garden of revelation. I think for now though we'll just use him to pick up some supplies. Uh, we've not built this turn. Anything worth building. Can now build the mage go level 2 if we want to. And we should still have 5 wood next turn, so let's just go for it. Just in case we get blind. That'd be great. We don't get blind, we do get lightning bolt though, and that's pretty decent. Disrupting ray's okay. Death ripple is actually really great too. That's perfect. So we'll definitely come back there and pick those up. Uh, Aislinn, I think we will leave her for one more turn. Still no sign of anyone else just yet, which is not too surprising. It's a pretty big map. It's got underground too. Pack of Crusaders. I would not be surprised if these guys also run, but no, these guys actually do want to fight us, and... That doesn't seem right. It's got to be a better way than that. What's my best spell? Maybe the slow spell. I think we will go for one of those. Yeah, these guys are coming forward. They are pretty fast. Still pretty fast even when slowed. Only slowed by one. That's not too helpful. I can actually stop these guys from getting to me. These guys aren't going to reach me. These guys... One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, if we slow them... Yeah, I guess they're on their native terrain, so they will be two slow and not just one. Okay, that's fine. Let's go and block this other one off. Lots of handy meat shields. Could actually finish these off too. Yeah, let's do that. Finish them off. Shoot these. Low morale. Okay, that's gonna happen sometimes. Till we get angels anyway, if we do use them on Galthran. I am thinking of keeping Galthran as uh, a necro specialist, just sticking with the necro units. I'm not completely sure. Since in the end we will take many, uh, many castle towns, and that's really quite annoying, but it's morale, it's RNG. Can't stop it from happening. Okay, fine, whatever. It's got to be worth it. Now, I am tempted by water magic, but I would really much prefer earth and air magic. So let's go with wisdom. Five skeletons back, that's going to be okay in the circumstances. Meteor shower. Okay, that's a good one to have. All the more reason to have earth magic if we can get it. One potential downside is we are now going to be offered two skills when we next level up, and we just have to pick one or the other. So hopefully it's going to be a decent choice. Is it worth going back to the town? There aren't really any great units to be picked up. Could upgrade the barracks, pick up six crusaders, but... Not really bothered about doing that. Brotherhood of the Sword is only useful when defending. Yeah, I think we'll skip all that, and... We'll head around. We've already got Curse, already got Haste. 
Spyglass, we got the Speculum, not the Spyglass. And I don't think we're ready to take on lots of Vampire Lords, even with things going fairly well. I think that's uh, a bit of a foolish choice. So we're just going to skip all that, we're going to take on the Trogs instead. Three turns, is it worth leaving something with Alagar? I think it's fine not to. I do want to have a hero who just kind of follows Galthran around, but not really Alagar. Alagar's actually pretty good. I want to pick this up. Just in case we do use Saurog for something, I think we will pick up some skills since they're right there. Uh, Aislin. Let's pass along. Peasants and the halflings. Do the same with them. It's another 40 skeletons. Just tons and tons and tons of skeletons, that's the plan. Five more skeletons is an option. Vampires, on the other hand, it's got to be a better option. Pass these back to Aislin, and it is tempting to take on the orcs, but I think we'll wait for now. I will split these up just to be safe. And they do want to fight, so okay, that's interesting. I'd like to hit them with Meteor Shower, ideally, but obviously. That's more for when they're close together, which right now they're not. See, so can you guys reach us? No. Perfect. So they should go for the fodder. You guys likewise just want to have a nice meat shield. We are on our native terrain, so we should be okay. They're not going to get much closer together, so I think we just have to go for it. Let's haste. Kill these off. See, can they reach us? They can reach us. There's no reason they wouldn't go for an attack on us now, which is kind of unfortunate. They're 6 speed. We are 7 with the vampires, so we should be able to hit them first. Um, what the hell? I worked that out wrong? Oh, they've gone up to 9 speed because the spell wore off. Fair enough. I thought I was using Galthran for some reason, and obviously Galthran has much higher spell power. But okay, that's fine. Let's walk those away. Keep them safe. Okay, that's fine. Got 6 back. I think these guys should run off. Just in case they don't. Okay, perfect. So they're gone. Let's see what we've opened up. So if we want to take on several bone dragons, which we definitely don't, but at some point we will, and that'll be a nice stat boost from the Library of Enlightenment. Uh, we don't have to take on the orcs. And I don't really want to just for some gold. Probably not worth it. Loss is pretty much guaranteed in that situation. Uh, Clavius. Clavius should probably go explore too. Let's just buy one of these. So that we get a few more movement points. Then Shakti... I think Shakti wants one too, just for the movement points as well. We pick up two of those, we'll pass one to Shakti. Uh, let's just dismiss... No need to dismiss. Put the one skeleton back. And explore. You go down. It's very tempting to buy Moandor before the end of the week. I'll decide that next turn. Go to the windmill. Get some more. In the turn. Still all safe for now. 
not so good. I do want to kind of hang around just so we can use the stables next week, but it's not really going to save us any time or movement points in the end. Uh, lots of gold here, which is good. Another hovel. I do want peasants, but not with Aislin. Uh, rogue cavern. Is that a... Uh, it is a settlement, okay. Not settlement, what do you call it? Creature dwell uh, dwelling. I wasn't sure about that one. Looks kind of like it should be a creature bank, but it's just a dwelling, so that's fine. Let's go and... I still don't want the peasants, actually. Let's keep exploring first, and then we can come back for them. Although it is day seven, so definitely should have done that in hindsight. Go and pick some up with Shakti. Hang on. We've not picked this up yet, let's go for those. Grab some easy experience, just in case we need it. Head to the stables. Aligar's gonna stay put in here. Do we want the castle? I think I want the capital more than anything else. Rather than going overboard with our castle town. So we'll save that for next week. Although, let's get the unearthed graves, just for a few extra skeletons. No reason not to. And that's for whether to get Moendor. Valeska's also very good. Comes with decent units too. I'm not massively bothered about getting Moendor. I think Necro has a very large number of good heroes, so no rush to do that. We should get offered something else that's just as good soon enough. Okay, a week of the eagle, that's not too exciting. Let's have a look. New heroes, we've got Tamika. Yeah, Tamika's just as good. I'm not sure I want her yet though. And Elishar, who's an okay hero, but probably won't bother with him or her. Which one is it this time? He looks like a man, I think, but I can't check till I buy him, so not gonna bother with that. Okay, let's take on the trucks. Shouldn't take any losses here, should be lots of free skeletons. We definitely do want to chase them down. I think we'll lose eight. I don't think that's necessary. Let's wait. Okay, they get morale, that's fine. Bring a meat shield to those. Okay, if they get morale, they can hit us. I think I do want to take the risk. I don't really want to spend spell points here, so yeah, let's... Actually, we can get a nice full-powered shot off there. They're actually going down to take on the fodder, so that's perfect. Not sure these guys can even reach us, even with morale. Alright, let's walk these even further away. Didn't need to take any losses here, apart from the fodder. Defend with you. You guys just shoot. Okay, perfect. 32 skeletons from that ridiculously easy fight. That's awesome. Lots of harpies. I don't massively want to fight them, but again, I think it's the right thing to do. They expect us to take losses, that's fair enough, but shouldn't be necessary. Can they get us with morale? I think potentially they can. Okay, they don't get morale though, so that's perfect. Weaken those. I think I'll just want to walk these guys off. They shouldn't be able to reach us yet. Hopefully they'll go for the bait. Which I think they will. If they can't reach anything else, they will just attack the skeleton. And if we put two there, even with morale, we should be pretty safe. Yeah, they go for the skeletons, that's perfect. We take those out, and we get 13 more skeletons. So yeah, definitely was the right choice to take that fight. Uh, do I want to pick this up? 
Movement points are precious, especially on this terrain. But I think we have to do it. No one else is nearby, and we'll miss out on quite a few sulfur if we don't pick those up. Uh, some gold there. I'm pretty tempted to sell some resources just to get the capital. And I think that's got to be worth it. We've got lots of this stuff. Sell 24 of these. 888 in the bank. That's just enough to buy the capital, so that's perfect. Elsewhere, Shakti, pick up some resources and head back to the hovel. Flavius, now that he's missed out on this uh, on last week's peasants, we're going to just send him north. No need to rush back just yet. Horde of Skeleton Warriors. School of Magic, if we want to pay for it. I don't think it's going to be massively worth sending Gautran up here. Just for a Maleto Tower, treasure chests, and a School of Magic. It'd be a few extra days journey, so probably not worth it. But we'll keep exploring. Horde of Pixies there. That's pretty tempting. And the Tomb of Curses. I'm not actually sure what that does. You don't tend to see that one too often. Uh, we've got another potential hero there if we want to take on lots of griffins, which should be doable. But we don't have too many spell points right now. Let's not overdo it. So that appears to be a dead end. That's fine. Lots more money in the bank. And in hindsight, didn't need to do any trading at all, but that's fine. We can actually use that to... I think we probably do want to save up for the training grounds. Need a bit more gold though. Not gold, wood. And gold, both in fact. But especially wood. Ah, right. Galthran. It is pretty tempting to take on the pack of monks and go chase down whoever's next. But I think it is about time that Galthran goes back to Terminus. And we're going to want to hand over our vampires too, so I think we should start sending Galth- uh, not Galthran. Aislin back to Necropolis. Saurug has picked up pretty much everything from here. We can now actually go and pick up some units. Potentially that's what we should do with Alagar too. Let's just pick up the ranged units. Can't quite afford all of them, but that's fine. We'll wait till next turn, then we'll go and take on the Trogs. Get a bit more crystal. Gautran can just get as close as possible. Check these on errands. I do want to send a hero around with Gautran, definitely. Just not sure who. Because heroes like Clavius, you kind of want to keep them back. Because they're earning you money, you don't want them to get caught out if they're out scouting. Likewise, Saurig. Potentially the most important passive hero we've got, just for those gems, the Archangels. I guess maybe Alagar would be a good choice because he can take fights, but he's uh, he's pretty far behind now. So I think we'll leave that be in the turn. Still no sign of anyone. But we're not really exploring new lands so much, so it's not too surprising. Main thing is we don't want them all to show up at the same time. Right, Aislin. Should she take on the Pixies? I think she probably should. Only 11 spell points, but let's just go for it. They don't want to fight. Oh, I should have said yes to that, that was a really poor choice in, in hindsight. Uh, do we want to go up a level? I think we definitely want to bring Galthran here. I think he has to be level 10 to take advantage of the Library of Enlightenment, so not just yet. But definitely do want to bring him up. Let's just start sending Aislinn back to the town. That was such a mistake, I should 100% should have fought those pixies. In hindsight. Uh, mausoleum, we're getting closer. We should get that in a few turns. Upgraded estate. We definitely want it, it's just a case of what we lose out by buying that, which is not going to be very much. Let's just go for it. Uh, elsewhere. I don't really want to get the upgraded guardhouse because we want to keep upgrading the pikemen. Not upgrading them, downgrading them I suppose, into skeletons. This is all about the skeletons. Um, it was tempting to pick up the sulfur just to get the mausoleum that little bit quicker, but I want to leave that to a, a dummy hero. 
Horde of Gogs. Ah, I would have actually run away from those. I thought they'd run away from me. That's kind of bad. What can I do to these? Meteor Shower. I can only reach the one of them. It doesn't really work. Slow's not going to help much. There's this annoying crack. It's going to stop most of our skeletons. Possibly you guys can make it across with haste. They'll have to take one nasty hit though. These guys have seven speed. I speed these up. Just how much will they go up by? Okay, perfect. So they're slightly faster. Do you want to just weaken these? It's tempting to go for the Magogs, but I think the skeletons will take them out in one shot. So let's just weaken the other stacks first. You guys are going to go forwards. So you're going to take a few nasty hits. I think that has to be done to tempt them away from hitting the ballista and hitting three of our stacks at once. Keep weakening these. And they're going to keep going for the skeletons. That's fine. Can't really lure them into attacking the fodder. I was hoping to avoid this fight altogether. So used to things running away, but in this case, they have gone for the full attack. Okay, now could haste again, but I don't think we'll actually reach. It's a potential option just to block off another stack with some fodder, but it's not really worth it. What to do instead? Probably just magic arrow. We don't need to decide just yet. Let's see if we can kill these in one shot. Perfect. We'll weaken these. Shoot these. And that should be the last shot we take. So we will take some losses, but it's just skeletons and we'll get all of those back soon enough, so that's fine. 21 skeletons lost, 20 back. That's uh, even better than I expected. Is it worth picking up the treasure chest? Not sure. Got to be a little bit economical with the movement points. 25 peasants. Go for the halflings next. It is literally right there, but then again, we got heroes very close by in Terminus. Hmm. I think we will send Galthran all the way back. I don't want to fight the Wood Elves. Maybe again should have done that, because I am forgetting about Necromancy. Most of the time, you don't want to be taking extra fights with ranged units if you don't have to. Um, but in the case of Necromancy, you probably do want to. That's fine. Uh, Alright, Clavius. Just come back, I think. Surg, grab some resources. You pick up the rest of these. It's tempting to upgrade the barracks, definitely, but I think we want to save our resources just to build a nice force back at Terminus. Alagar, what to do with you? I think we'll take the last couple of zealots. And we'll go take these on. We have a nice powerful Ice Bolt spell, so should be able to kill them off pretty quickly. We'll just do this. It's a decent chunk. And these things are pretty good as meat shields too. And with all these. Sure, we take these out? No, I think we should attack these instead. Yeah, that's going to do a lot more damage. Finish these off. You guys defend. Potentially going to get hit now, but that's fine. No, we won't. Perfect. Grab some easy resources. Some free gems. Definitely should have actually used Aislinn on the Tree of Knowledge. But she can potentially come back, so that's fine. Uh, let's 
scare off the gogs at least. I'm pretty sure these gogs won't want to fight us. They're much weaker than the last batch. Sorg. He's got to be the choice to pick up the sulfur, so we'll go do that. And we should do something with this town. Building a castle is tempting, but I think that's more of a it's more of a day seven type of building. Likewise for the Griffin Bastion. Upgraded barracks. Maybe. It's tempting. I think we'll keep saving for now, just till Galthrend gets back. Still no sign of anyone, so that's great. Let's take on the Gogs. We should fight them, but no, I don't really want to. Easier not to. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, Horde of Pikemen. Absolute no-brainer. We definitely want to fight those. Lots of free skeletons. No need to take even that many losses. Just going to abuse that necromancy as much as possible. Perfect, they're going for the fodder. Okay, let's split now. I think that's fine. If we wait... Did I misclick? No, I didn't. Perfect. The W key is kind of close to the D key in some ways, but no, didn't misclick, so that's perfect. Right, shoot these. Nice full-powered shot. Finish them off with these. Defend. Finish these off too. Perfect, so that's going to be... Oh my god, that is dreadful. <laughs> oh, this is the worst possible outcome. Ah, I should have taken water magic. That would have been so much better. Okay, so we've got a choice between literally useless because there's no water on this map, I don't think. There could be. I don't think there is, though. I'm pretty sure I set no water. Literally useless and functionally useless. We're going to have to go for basic learning. That's absolutely terrible. I was so hoping we'd get the perfect Galthran, but it's not to be. It's fine. We should just be able to brute force our way through pretty much everything with... Skeletons. Lots of rogues. Easy skeletons, but I don't think we want to take on a Naga Bank. Not till we get mass slow, if we do get mass slow. I'm trying to think what skill would I give up in acceptance of having learning. So I definitely want logistics. Offense. Earth magic. And I think there's going to be a hard choice between air magic and tactics. I'll probably give up tactics, I think. That's if I do get a perfect choice from now on, which I still might not, but fingers crossed. All this reduces, is that worth going for? Maybe not. I would have I would have even taken artillery if I knew what I was going to get, but no, it's not, not to be. Alright, so we are level 9. Hopefully learning will get us to our next experience level soon enough. That's a real shame though. None of this stuff is going to give us too much experience. But still, I think the thing to go for is the Medusa stores. Is there any point in you coming back here? Obviously we'll recharge all his spell points. I do want Death Ripple, yeah, let's come back. Just for one turn. Aislinn. Let's take on the Skeleton Warriors. They do want to fight us. I'm hoping we can do that without so many losses. Need 12 spell points. Enough to slow both stacks, but we don't have ranged units. Could haste these instead. It's fine, they can't get morale. Let's have them go for the fodder.
Hasted one turn. Too early in hindsight. Okay, fine. Ah, crap. Second time I've done that. So these guys are 6 speed, these are 5 speed, so if we defend, let these guys walk up slightly, and then haste our own skeletons. You guys come down here, defend, 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 and you guys just finish them off. That's fine. Potentially could have saved some spell points, but we should be going back to the town pretty soon anyway. It's a necromancer, it's not a death knight, so we don't need to be scared. We should be pretty safe just to not go for water magic again this time. Uh, right, and we got some wood too, so we got plenty of every resource except sulfur. And the sulfur's gonna start adding up pretty quickly, so that's fine. Alagar. Go for the infernal trogs. Some losses, let's see if we can do it with fewer. Yeah, shouldn't need to take any losses here. Perfect. The only problem with Alagar, of course, is the lack of necromancy, but that's fine. Uh, lots of enchanters in order to get... I think that's the barracks. That's not going to be worth it at all. I'm not sure if there's something else hidden behind there, but that's, that's a pretty poor trade, actually. Lots of griffins for some gold. He could do it, but he'd need a few more units, and that's not really a priority. So we'll send him back. The Necrotown. Could upgrade the Cursed Temple. The obvious problem with getting the upgraded Cursed Temple is once you get Skeleton Warriors, you have a choice, you can either fill up all seven of your stacks, in which case Necromancy will resurrect Skeleton Warriors instead of Skeletons. The problem is it'll only resurrect, I think it's 60% as many, so it's definitely worse. The other option is you have a, a free slot at all times, and then you have one stack of Skeleton Warriors and one stack of Skeletons. Which I think is my preferred way of doing things, but I know that a lot of people just don't bother with the upgraded Cursed Temple at all. I do quite like it though. They do have that nice extra speed compared to normal skeletons. That's always very tempting. I think we're bound to get the upgraded Tomb of Souls at some point, so let's just get it now. And uh, we've got a bit of money to spare, so... Training grounds. I think what we'll probably do is go Day 5 Training Grounds, Day 6 Castle, and Day 7 Griffin Bastion. So we won't put anything there just yet. Shakti. Pick these up. Once again, grab some gold. Just do the usual cycle. Clavius, just come back to town. Yeah, he's gonna get as close as possible. Actually, should actually Clavius wait somewhere so we can chain a few over, a few vampire lords. That is, along with everything else. Maybe not the skeletons though. I do really want mass haste or mass slow, either will be fine, but the lack of either is really painful. Okay, we definitely want to go back. We want to pick up the things from the mage guild. Definitely want the vampire lords. Skeletons. Let's get a bit of everything. Shut 
Should we recruit Tamika? I think we will. Just for these skeletons, if nothing else. She can go explore. Don't want to use her as a scout. I think I do. That's fine. Ah, she's actually blocked us off, hasn't she? No, she hasn't. That's perfect. Good. All part of the plan, of course. Right. Clavius. Take all this stuff. Do we want to leave the skeletons behind? It would be good to have two heroes on the go, that's the thing. Obviously it's great to have a... a hero who is as busted as possible. And having, what, like 600 skeletons almost? At this stage of the game would be very busted. Especially skeleton warriors. And I do want the skeleton warriors. I feel like it's a good idea to get the best skeletons possible, and in fact, we can't even afford to upgrade them just yet. Slightly worried about the vampire lords thinking about it. Probably can't afford to upgrade those either. Oh, we can. Perfect. 1,400. Definitely a good deal. And now Galthran can go and take on the Medusa stores. If we're content with the low amount of spell points. 29, that should be enough, really. I'm going to split these. Definitely don't want it to be taking Walking Dead with us. Split these again. Actually, no. Let's not do that. And split the Vampire Lords instead. Now the Medusas, I think... One of these stacks is not going to appear next to any Medusas. Out of those, I think stack number three won't. So let's put stack number three as zealots. The marksman in the middle. I think that works. We'll soon find out. But yeah, we're definitely ready to take this fight. Let's do it. That's actually profit, if anything, but let's see if we can do it even better. Okay, so the speed is 5 speed on them, we've got 6 speed. Wow, that's actually even better than expected. we we'll weaken these. I think they could get a kill. 7 speed to 6 speed, I think we'll be alright actually. These guys are the ones to worry about. Is it worth death rippling? Or maybe just focus one down. So the Death Ripple will do 30 points of damage, that does 110. That's got to be the better option. Weaken these. Hopefully now they won't get the kill. They will turn us to stone though, but that's okay. Weaken these some more. Ah, okay, they're actually going to go for the Zealots. They don't get the kill though, so that's perfect. Should kill these in one shot. Perfect. You guys likewise. Just weaken these. Okay. 20 skeletons from that, 10 sulfur, 5,000 gold. That's awesome. That would en enable us to get the castle right now, which is tempting. Okay, so Galthran is still level 9. He's got to be very close. Yeah, he's about 100 off. So if we go up north and we take on the Horde of Walking Dead, then I think... In fact, there's no need to do that. We can actually go up this way. Take on the orcs. Take on the griffins, and then... Straight to the tree, the tree of knowledge, which will give us our level 10, even if we don't have it by then, which we definitely will. And then we can go and take on... Uh, not take on anything, but... Go to the Library of Enlightenment and get some... I think it's plus two to each skill. I might have already said that. Uh, and that's got to be worth going for. Chest. Protection from fire, that's not going to help too much. Alright, now potentially can send Alagar around to pick some things up as a kind of third hero. There's actually another hovel there, so the game is really giving me some very easy skeleton options. No complaints though. 
still no sign of any other AI, which is surprising. But I think... Once I've gone to the Library of Enlightenment, I'm going to be pretty confident that we can then go fully aggressive and expand outwards. Clavius, just go back to the town. Uh, get the mausoleum next turn, I think. Mage Guild level 3 is another option. Definitely an option. And then it would make sense to bring Galthron back, just to get those level 3 spells. So what I'm thinking is we'll go north, we'll take on all of these things, we'll... I think we should take on the Ogre, uh, Ogre Magi as well. And there are two Tombs of Curses. I'm not really sure what those are, those might just be for mummy recruitment. But hopefully they're creature banks. I'm sure they're not though, because they got flags on them which suggests that they are just dwellings. Right, well in the turn. I'm sure that one of them has to show up at some point soon. I think the reason we're not seeing too many is of course because we we took one out very early on, so that was our natural first opponent. Griffin Bastion is another. Griffin Conservatory is what it's called, I guess. That's another good option. Get some angels. The problem with griffins is they are pretty fast, and if we had mass haste, it would be much more tempting than it is. Okay, lots of orcs. I don't massively want to fight these. Yeah, I'm just going to skip them. Landmine. I'm not going to use that. Normal orders. We definitely do want to fight. Not even expecting a single loss at this point. 26 free skeletons. That's good. Lots of griffins. Definitely do want to chase this down. Three losses. I think we just accept that at this point. It's not worth bothering with. Still not being offered decent skills. Okay. Namika. Oh, there's actually Medusa stores there. I didn't even see those. They kind of blend in with the mountain a little bit. Yeah, we should go for those as well, actually. Okay. Let's send her to the Mystical Garden. Sarug, keep picking up resources. Over here, do we want to try and get the Dragon Vault in? If we go day 5, day 6, day 7, is that doable? Definitely looks doable, so let's do it. Training grounds. I don't want to spend too much money. Let's at least get the Griffin Bastion. Okay, Aislinn. I don't really want to fight the Orcs, but there's got to be a lot hidden up here. Maybe we should get our spell points back first. She's only got two left. Yeah, we'll do it that way around. We'll get the spell points back, and we'll take those on next turn. Yeah, let's end the turn. I'm sure one of them will show up pretty soon. Or perhaps not. There are some templates that are like that, like you just won't see anyone for a long time. Apart from that first player, obviously. Okay, so we got Zydar, level 5, likewise. Better skills than our main hero, except for necromancy, of course. He's the natural choice to go over the lava terrain, if we need one. Sorcery specialist, that's also a, a decent choice for a, a backup hero. but I think we should be fine either way. I'm pretty happy just to go straight in with these. Uh, I think it's pretty much exactly the same as the last one we fought. Actually slightly weaker.
actually, it's not because we're now on the grass terrain, which means some of the Medusas are going to go before the skeletons, and that makes it a lot harder. Is it worth death rippling? I think we still want a lightning bolt. Okay, once again, they don't get the kill. We're actually gonna go before these. I should have hasted. That was a big mistake. Okay. It's fine. Okay, they just go for those. That's perfect. Seven skeletons lost, but we'll get all those back. They're not gonna get a kill. Okay, fine. 15 back. Nice resources too. Now, do we want to go straight in for the Ogre Magi? It is more efficient to do so, so let's go for it. Okay, before we do this, let's clear the path a bit. Got tons of resources now. Okay, Horde of Hobgoblins. That's going to be even more skeletons. Now, I will get the Hall of Darkness, but I don't think I want to bring them to this fight. I think we just... Although if I do bring them, that increases the chance we scare them off, and that's the ideal outcome. So yeah, let's bring a bit of everything. Will they run? Yes they will. Perfect. Misfortune, that's not worth going out of our way for. I will take on the crypt at some point, but it's not urgent. Let's keep exploring for now. Clavius can join you in that. Let's have a look. Bird of Perception, we don't have. More Mercury income if we need it. That's good. Okay. Sarag. Okay, we've got loads of money, so we can definitely splash out a bit. Day six. Let's go with the castle. Shakti. Bring everything back. Tarag. Pretty much a, a scout that we don't need at this point. So I think what we need to do now is we need to start actually going on the aggressive. And we will do soon. Alagar. I could build a big force and take on the Vampire Lords. I don't really want to though. It's going to be too expensive to be worthwhile. Lydar will take the Mercury. Hamaka will pick up all that stuff so that's not a big rush. Amulet of the Undertaker. I think that's one of the three artifacts you need for the the Cloak of the Undead King, which is just the most busted, <laughs> like, as if Necro wasn't already busted, the combination artifact, the Cloak of the Undead King or whatever it's called, the Lich King, whatever it is, it's just the most broken thing in the game. Um, if we could get that, that would be completely overkill, but also completely irresistible. That is if I'm thinking of the right thing. Uh, what was that thing that the seer wanted? I think it was the Pendant of Death. So, not the same thing, but I think that enhances your necromancy skill, which is the perfect artifact for us if we can get it. Which we should be able to just fine. Don't think these guys need to move around too much. We'll send Sorug up just to help explore this area. Zydar can start going back to the base. Alagar's fine there, and Tamika, we'll just put her here for now. In the turn. The longer this goes on, the stronger we get, and I'm pretty sure there's no way they can be keeping up. So if we compare hero stats for a moment, the most threatening looking one, well I guess in raw stats it's either green or orange, but Pink has got Sir Mullock, and Sir Mullock is uh, another pretty busted hero. 
Not anywhere near on the same level as Galthran, though. So I'm not too worried. Do we want to fight the Hobgoblins? Absolutely yes, and we shouldn't need to take any losses at all. Unless they get morale. They are pretty fast, but they don't get morale so that's fine. Probably shouldn't have risked that in hindsight. That's perfect. Another 25 skeletons. And I think we should be okay to take these Ogre Magi on. We'll bring these two together. Send these guys to the top. Try it like this. Yeah, I'm not surprised they want to fight us. 45 of them. Not going to be too easy. 21 spell points. Death Ripple twice is not worth it. I think we just want to slow them. We even shield the Vampire Lords. The wait. See what they do. I think we will slow one of them. The stack at the bottom. Okay, they're five speed. We are also five. We can only slow one at a time, so we're not going to go too reckless with the skeletons just yet. Apart from these guys who are fodder. Send them forward. Weaken these. But yeah, they're pretty beefy. Okay, just the three kills there. I think we want to slow again. Slow the bigger threat. We'll pull back. Vampire Lords are really good, but you have to reach that tipping point, and I'm not sure we're there yet, so we'll play it safe. Okay, they go for the fodder. Perfect. Okay, 6 speed. Could speed these up next turn. Okay, they're all going that way. That's interesting. And they reach us. Three speed. So unless they get morale, we should be fine to haste the skeletons next turn. I'm just gonna weaken them slightly just in case something goes wrong. Right. Five speed. Haste the skellies. One, two, three, yeah, should be fine. So we'll wait with these. Keep weakening these. Back with these. Keep weakening. Defend. Okay, good, they can't reach us. Perfect. Okay, is that good enough? How much damage do the skeletons actually do? So they did... ...642 damage, that's gonna kill... ...only around 10. So we do want to weaken them a bit more. Ah, we are gonna take a hit here, aren't we? Okay. Okay, we're going to have to take a hit. Is this worth doing? We'll get one kill, and we'll have to take a counter-attack. Vampire Lords disappeared then. Um, oh, we might get two kills actually, because they've only got seven health left. Let's just do it. Do lose two raids, that's fine. 
plus 10 skeletons, that's fine, we'll get all those back. Still not getting offered any good skills here. 18 skeletons. Come back. Ah, oh, man. This isn't going too well. Basic fire magic, it's not very good. Basic intelligence is pretty good. Let's just go for it. Okay, so we're going to have to make a tough choice. I think I might go without offense. But like earth magic, air magic, logistics, I think. I am just going to check this out just in case. Okay, there are actually no guards. So that was a waste of time. That's okay though. Okay, so we are definitely very prepared to go on the aggressive now. Got around 500 skeletons on this hero alone, and then on this hero we've got another 150, and we can train her up to make her a lot stronger. And we have two choices. We can either go this way, take on the monks, and go through that portal, or we can keep exploring this area, and I don't think that this area is actually linked to a specific opponent. I think it's kind of like a, a middle bonus area. So with that in mind, it might be worth just following this path just in case it leads to something interesting. Like another library of enlightenment. But we do need to first do the loop round. So we need to go to the other oak tree. Tree of wisdom, whatever it's called. Tree of knowledge. Get another level up from that and then might as well take the crypt while we're here. Likewise, the Ward of Walking Dead. Take the Library of Enlightenment, pick up a few more spells, and then we'll swing round and we'll go on the offensive. And we can also build the Dragon Bolt. So we will have some level 7 units to take with us. And we are definitely ready to take the rest of the map. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Do join me next time when, as I said, we will be taking on the other players, going on the aggressive, chasing them down, and turning them all into skeletons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.